Hey guys, second video here, and we're going to reply to this comment, which is a very common misconception. Uh, pretty much asking, how has my heart grown? And is this inevitable? The question is posed by a lot of individuals. It's a very common misconception. People think that um, the use of androgens will inevitably result in a very unhealthy heart. And I'll clear this up. So number one, this obviously depends a lot on you know duration. So I'm 24 and a half. If I were to have significant LVH at this point in my life, it would be very concerning. Number two, this depends on muscle building genetics and dosage. So I don't have good muscle building genetics and my dosage is unknown to the public. So uh, they can't really speak on that. Number three, this depends a lot on ancillary usage. So I will dive uh, pretty briefly. I'll make a deep dive later, but I'll dive briefly into what I do to mitigate left ventricular hypertrophy. So I take telmosartan, which is an angiotensin receptor blocker, and this will essentially decrease water weight, um, increase vasodilation, result in lower blood pressure, and uh, mitigate left ventricular hypertrophy to a good extent. Secondly, uh, a beta blocker. So I take propranolol, and this hugely decreases adrenergic tone and results in a lower heart rate, lower blood pressure, and once again, mitigates left ventricular hypertrophy. So the usage of these two already pretty much puts you probably at a safer than natural level, uh, almost irrespective of what you'd be taking. Um, and we can also dive into anecdotes. So we have Chase Irons. He is in, I believe his late thirties, has been using steroids for over a decade um, at dosages exceeding five grams per week at some points. And even he on his echocardiogram showed no vent left ventricular hypertrophy, as did mine. So yeah, the answer is no, my heart has not grown. This, um, yeah, this is clear in my echocardiogram. I don't have any left ventricular hypertrophy. Uh, is it a mystery as to why this is the case? No, it is not.